Tesla has announced some pretty big price cuts, at least in China, and uh, some other parts of uh, some areas just over the international date line. But is this a good thing or a bad thing, or does it even matter? Is it going to affect the stock price? Let's look at some spreadsheets. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. As a reminder, this is uh, the, uh, you know, the very exciting uh, full version that goes out over the weekend uh, on the Friday, or it's the condensed one over the weekend. If you haven't checked out the full version on the Friday on the live channel, you gots to. It's more fun. It's longer. It's got a Q&A. And especially today, we're going to use that extra time to tweak some numbers. So I don't know if you guys heard, but there has been some uh, interesting news. Yeah, some price cuts. Is this a sign of doom and gloom or is it long overdue? Is this a uh, problem? Is it a pro Are we having a problem or are we reverting to normal pricing? What are normal margins? Well, for cars, you know uh, a lot. Uh, real high, like 5%, 6%, unless you're Tesla. In which case, you get something more like 27.9% automotive gross margin. That leaves you some room to play around with your numbers. So what's it mean? Well, <laughs> here's what you came here for, right? It's the spread in sheets. Yeah, they expect 27.9% margins. They get them. They get them. <sighs> so let's look at this. Deliveries last quarter, 405000 now, what was the average selling price? We don't actually know just yet, but we have a pretty good idea. About 50000 And with that margin, we know we're looking at 13950 in profit per unit. Now, I've seen some other uh, very pessimistic numbers on Twitter, uh, but I don't see it that way. So 405000 units, 13950 in gross profit. 5.6 above, above billions of the dollars. But how many deliveries are we even talking about? And all these numbers, by the way, we're, we're going to get to them. We're going to tweak them. You're going to help me. You're going to tell me how to change them. <laughs> mm, Hiking Lang says less profit in the short term, but better long term profits. You see, we shall get to it. Last quarter's production was 439,000 units. So that gives us a baseline for what to expect for production moving forward. Let's say the growth is tiny at just 5%. I don't think it's going to be 5%. It's going to be quite a bit more than that. That'd still be an extra 22,000 units. That's only like 1,500 a week. They're going to increase by more than that. That'd be an extra 700 a week out of Berlin and Texas each. They're going to produce more than that. But it's not just these two numbers combined. No, 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 my friend. There is existing inventory we have to deal with. You see, last quarter, they produced 439, but only sold 405. That's, you know, 34,000 extra units. And the quarter before, there was, what, 22,000 extra units? That means they've got 56,000 existing inventory. Now, those were just in transit. Those were just in transit. Those weren't for sale. You couldn't find them listed for sale. Some S's, some X's, but all the threes and Y's were gone or accounted for or in transit. But if the hypothesis we're dealing with is that there's no demand, that it's a busted growth story, as my very good friend Gojo likes to say, then we have to say that these cars could be sold. So what's the total number of cars? Minimum, minimum 516,950. Minimum. So let's say the average selling price, we said 50,000, let's whack three grand off of it. Well, it's going to be more than three grand. Yeah, maybe in some markets. In some markets, it'll be no discount at all. And in the U.S., it's not going to be more than a $3,000 discount, likely, because so many cars are going to qualify for the tax incentive. Or there'll be more discount on the back for uh, credits for making batteries. There's all kinds of ways this money can happen. So what kind of margin does that give us? 23.3. Oh, that's miserable compared to 27.9. Yes, but it's making some very conservative estimates. Very conservative. So now your profit per car. Oh, it's a paltry 11 grand. Still huge. 
But on that many deliveries, it's more. The profit went up. We didn't do anything different. We didn't cheat. We didn't cut any corners here. These numbers are quite re well. Yes, but they but we sold through existing inventory, and that's not recurring. That just happened the once. Okay, but I also only said five percent growth, which is ludicrous. It's going to be more than five percent. A growth of twenty one nine fifty for the quarter. That's ridiculous. Last quarter they grew by what was it? Uh, 60, 80,000 units. It was a big growth quarter. And this quarter shows the same kind of trend. Shanghai doesn't look like it will be shut down like it has been for parts of previous quarters. Fremont is not scheduled to go down for maintenance. Texas and Berlin are still getting bigger and faster. So, should we get a little goofy? Should we massage these numbers a bit? Because you see, here's the delivery numbers. You saw 439,701. So it was actually a little higher than what I put in, 405. <laughs> Interesting, I didn't realize these were dialed in all the way. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, and then we've got the previous quarter, you could see that there was more production than delivery, 22,000 extra units. By the way, can Tesla cut these prices? Let's, uh, like I said, let's get batty here. This three grand, uh, this this number here. What's the real cost on this car? What's the real cost right now? We're saying it's 30% <laughs> You know, there's a 30% basically margin in this car Well, the real cost has gone down and continues to go down Elon said the cost of goods to make a car Went up and it's now slowly coming back down that uh, discount hasn't been fully realized through the supply chain But it's getting there. We are we are getting there. In China, they were asked, why? Why the price cut? Well, published behind, I love, I love this, the Chinese language is like poetry when you translate it. Published behind Tesla's pricing adjustment in Beijing, it covers numerous engineering innovations, essentially unique laws of cost control, not limited to integrated vehicle design, production line design, supply chain management, even millisecond optimization. We will respond to the call of the state with practical action, promote economic development, and unleash consumption potential. 2023, let's meet a better life together. Love it. But what they're saying is, we've been able to bring down our costs. We've been able to make the line better, the design better, Everything a little the supply chain management just a little bit better all of those mean that even by giving a three thousand dollar discount We're still being very conservative with these numbers If it's only I mean they could have already three thousand dollars in savings per car The model Y's coming out of Fremont are profitable Sandy Monroe estimates the model Y costs less to build than the model 3 That means they could drop the price of the model Y and still make money or maybe they should just stop selling the Model 3. Either way, or they should stop selling the Model 3 until they get the new version out that's got the integrated battery as a structural element, the front and rear mega castings, all that. But all that's coming, and all that's still dropping the price. China is a cheaper factory in which to build because labor's a bit lower, uh, parts from suppliers are local, they're a bit cheaper, and uh, then, of course, you've got... It's a newer factory using a newer design with new philosophy. Fremont is a mess and it's got the highest labor costs and the parts you're getting are all from the US of A, which is one of the most expensive markets. They're still profitable. They can still make money doing that. And in Texas, they're going to make even more money building the same cars quicker and better. So all of this is very conservative. I think they could drop the price more than 3000 and still have this kind of number. Or they could drop the price 3000 and eclipse this number. And again, it's all growing. Do you want to see different numbers in here? Do you want me to change these around? Because I can do it. I can change them all. We'll get to that at the end here. What do we got? So one thing I had looked at is what does it cost to import a car from China to the US? And I mistakenly found the number 2.5%. That is incorrect. That's if you or I wish to import a car. The real number 
is 27.5%. That's why we don't see Chinese cars on the market. Wow. <laughs> if that was gone, they would uh, have some market share. And if you really want to move cars, lowering the price is absolutely going to drive demand. There are people, especially with the interest rates who've ju that have just gone up, there are people who are right on the edge who, who, who just can't do it. And as the prices continue to come down, there are fleets, there are professionals, commercial buyers, who have a number in front of them that when it hits it, it makes sense. Until that number's hit, it don't. So maybe we just need to get a bunch sold to Hertz, to Enterprise, to states and cities. And of course you could bring in some sexy new colors. Yeah, yeah. Those don't require a discount yet, I bet. So that would be quite interesting. Yeah, let's get into some goofy numbers, shall we? Some goofy numbers and the chat. I do want to thank my patrons who get early access, bonus content, all kinds of good stuff. I thank you. This uh, page is a little bit out of date. It'll be, it'll be fun. Uh, it's well, uh, there it is, and uh, there you go. If you want to watch the complete 30-ish minute version, head on over to the second channel, uh, My Tesla Live, where the uh, whole thing goes out each Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, join in the conversation. Thanks as always to everyone else. Like, subscribe, do the usual thing, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the live channel. Okay, so what did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave it all in them comments. Stay tuned. Stay juicy. Can't wait to hear from you. Clever ding-dongs in the future. Ah. Uh...